Hey! Uh, I have an itch. That was a terrible time to start. But we're here in Silph Tower. Silph Co. Tower. Uh, let's switch to Alakazam. And then OCD. So, last time we were taking on this tower and the main... Man... Beep, beep, boop. Anyway, we were taking on the many uh, trainers in here. I think we're on like 4-4. Four, four. Or 5. 4, 5, 6, 7. Doesn't matter. We'll find out eventually. But, uh, we had collected the Super Rod and I was talking about those things. And uh, we actually have three Pokemon available because of it. They are very valuable. Two of them more accessible in game in part they're usable the other one's kind of difficult because of how slow it is but let's start with the slow one slow poke you can catch it pretty easily in Saladon City if I remember correctly but um water psychic type so it is I what's the word it's a decent type but it's so slow when it evolves in slow bro and it gets psychic really late but then again it also gets access to ice beam it, it gets access to amnesia which is why you would use it and it all you need to do is set up amnesia and you have won the game it's pretty good in game just because of that it's a little slow for normal use i don't know why i checked that again but I actually at one point had it, had it on my team for a planned team when I was thinking of Pokemon that I like to use sometimes I was like it's not bad what is with the psychic types I'm it has headbutt I think and we'll see but I was thinking oh I'm gonna switch yeah it has headbutt it doesn't fucking matter so I was actually thinking what would be good and Slowbro came up a couple times. Um, but I, I went with Alakazam because it's faster and it's a little more manageable. And I would have had to wait even longer to catch another Pokemon. Wow, this is some tanky. And this goes back on the topic. Hypno was pretty good. Uh, when I mentioned it on, what was it, Route 12? Uh, it's right next to Diglett's Cave. I'm forgetting the route name. I think I forgot it there too. <laughs> I think I would know it by now. But um, now Slowbro overall is just a good Pokemon. Next one we'll get into is Shelter. You can find it in Vermilion City. I believe the route north of it. Where you can also find Krabby as well. I'm just going to side you. I don't know why they have so many psychics, but... You can find, uh, what? Hold on, hold on. What? Huh? All right, we're gonna do this because Mr. Mime is actually very defensive. Barrier. Fuck. Well, Razor Leaf's our best bet. We're gonna get hit hard here, though. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. That was kind of scary, actually. We're a little, usually I'm a lot higher level. But, that's why we're in here. Gain some experience. I hope to be level 40 by the time we're done. So, but, um, back to Shelter. That's what I was talking about. Water, Ice type. Falls with a Water Stone so you can evolve it right away. And it's probably the best case scenario. That's a lot more now, but um, it's the best case scenario for a uh, toxic combo in this game. There's the Leech Seed toxic combo, which I'll talk about eventually once we get access to it. But I'm just going to mention that Clamp plus Toxic is pretty good. And plus it gets access to a strong Surf and a strong Ice Beam. And uh, I believe that's all it really needs. It's a decent Pokemon. Very defensive. Physical defense is fine. A lot of evolved forms now, which is nice and also not nice at the same time. But we'll take them down. 
I really need to get psychic for this thing. I think it learns it pretty soon. Um, next thing is not really new. We've been able to catch Poliwag. I've mentioned that with the Super Rod in Palatown and a couple other areas. But you can catch Poliwhirl in Celadon City. Now, why is that important? Well, if you remember in Cerulean City, you could trade a Poliwhirl for a Jinx, which is a nice psychic type. And it... It does a lot of damage. It It's not very good stat-wise, but the stats it has makes it very usable. Ice, speaking of Psychic, holy shit, I did not remember 38 was that. Um, confusion. But, um, the reason it's good is because it gets access to Blizzard, which if you don't know what Blizzard is in this generation, it's pretty good. 90% accurate instead of the 70 it would become later where it matches thunder it's very strong it also if you're able to spare a TM of psychic on it it is phenomenal it's very good it also gets boosted XP because it's a trade so it really works out I can't say anything really bad on it like it's a decent Psychic type attacker, it's a decent ice type, where there's not that many ice types in this game. So overall it's just pretty good. And we finally get to see Gengar again. It's, it hasn't been that long, has it? No, I think I used the last part. I think I used all four. Boom! Ready or not. So these teleporters, uh, this is actually A secret item here card key um I will be going back and doing this right now because I think that sends you higher actually but that's where the card key is so we're gonna go back to the second floor right now and we're just gonna go do all the stuff we missed out on I know it's kind of well why didn't you just rush up here well I need to talk about the super rod somehow and this was the easiest way this is the wrong way um so there's all the wild encounters with super rod and if you want to pick those up there's some decent stuff in there all right it's not a maze you go up the stairs i mean the teleport yeah but it's not that hard and plus i guess this is before like game facts was huge but still, you can just look it up on GameFAQ or fucking Google at this point. Where do I go in Silphco and Pokemon Red? Well, on the third, at fourth floor, there's a teleporter straight to the left. Or near it, I think that's where it's at. I don't care. I'll remember when I get to it. Or I'll look it up, huh? <laughs> no. Um, but I also have to mention that there's a rival battle coming up but if you want to shortcut through all these trainers you're always welcome to I find it free experience so um dream eater now the reason I'm kind of hesitant is I kind of want to put mega drain on Gengar because it's either dream eater dream Eater, or mega drain because I kind of want a healing move on it because I can but I'm not entirely sure which one's better I mean dream readers I guess it would be useful but mega drain has a couple fights where it could be really useful if I'm kind of forced to be stuck there and I don't know defeated scientist how'd you know I was a rocket because you fought me you actually just stared at me and fought me. I mean, it's not hard. Uh, that's called being a double agent. Um, yeah, we have the card key, so we're. I don't know why this is here. Like, you could have just left an item ball. What is that? 
Self-destruct. Hold on. We could just teach Gengar self-destruct. It's actually a, a viable solution in competitive play. But... No thanks. I'm not a big fan of those. Unless I'm playing Coliseum. XD. Stadium. One of those where it has some use. Here, it's kind of just a waste of experience, especially since double battles don't exist here, so it doesn't even matter. Plenty of items. What? I don't... Okay, so you think about it this way, and it's kind of a random topic, but... So, obviously, Sylph Company is a big company. It really is. We've. It's been said to make the Great Ball. This sucks. But the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball, and we see it made the... That hurt? Oh, critical. But it made the Master Ball, and they kind of hint that it made the original Pokeball too. I don't think it might be a thing. I can't confirm it because I don't remember or I've never heard of it. But you have to think it sells Great Balls, it sells Ultra Balls, and it's it would have sold the Master Ball if it didn't. But just Ultra Ball alone. So, obviously we don't see other people in the Pokemon world using them because, I mean, at that point, you've already gotten the catching tutorial already over, so, I mean, it's not prominent enough for them to use an Ultra Ball in there, so, we don't see them using it, but we can imply that, Obviously, someone has to be using it. They're not just there for us. I mean, we can be self-centered and think that way. So you have a bunch of Ultra Balls. All right. And let's say one trainer in this game picks one up. Just say that. Even Team Rocket Grunts. Even though it would be more or less in certain scenarios, it's still just an easy number. One, which there's about 100 trainers in here in this game. I don't remember the exact amount. But, and Ultra Balls cost a lot. I believe they cost 1200 Alright. I think, yeah. So, you have Ultra Balls, and... This better not crit me again. Didn't matter. But... <sighs> that doesn't matter. Oh my god. But you have Ultra Balls, which cost a lot, and so you're making a profit. I don't know how much it costs to manufacture them, of course, but... Like, you have to imply that's a decent amount. But then, what's your profit margin and all that? And I'd have to say it's pretty large when you think of it. And so, they have to have decent wages here. And why would you pick to go to Team Rocket, which you have a chance of getting arrested... An overall chance of just downright getting killed if it's a gangster squad like it's supposed to be. I think this is where the earthquake's at. But, I don't know. I don't find it, like, reasonable to leave Sylph Co., which seems to have a decent wage, and go to Team Rocket. It's just not a viable solution. Um, that's it for this part. I mean, we could do more, but at my little self-imposed time limit. So next time we'll be taking on the floor we've already taken on where we got the card key to finish the doors. And then we'll be heading up higher and hopefully not finishing next part, but the part after hopefully. And also we have a new team member coming up, so be there.